This video is your one-stop shop for everything you need to know about fleas. I'll chat about how I diagnose fleas without ever seeing a flea, how they got into your household in the first place, 10 reasons why you're having trouble getting rid of fleas, what not to use to get rid of fleas, why this is so important, and five flea myths. So let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Oz. You have to know a little bit about fleas and their life cycle if you are to have any chance of getting rid of fleas in your household. The flea is only a very small part of the flea life cycle. Take a look at this diagram. 95% of the flea cycle is not a flea and those eggs, larva, and pupa stages are hiding in your furniture, carpet, and any small space in your household. Only 5% of the flea cycle are actual fleas. This means if you are seeing a flea, you are probably not seeing 95% of the flea cycle that is in your household right now. In fact, you are seeing less than 5% of the cycle because if you see one flea on your cat, there are up to 100 you don't see in your household. And it only takes two to four weeks for that egg to become a flea. Once a flea hatches, they begin eating, mating, and laying eggs within a few hours. Quick flea fact, a female flea can lay up to 50 eggs in a day and 2,000 eggs in their lifetime. I'm in the Northeast and I see fleas year round. I diagnose fleas all the time and I rarely see a flea. How can this be? There are common patterns on your cat that strongly suggest fleas. Fleas like to hang around your cat's neck and right above their tail base along their lumbar area. If I see any hair thinning, hair loss, or scabs in these locations, this strongly suggests fleas, especially in the warmer months. If I see a lot of hair loss or a lot of scabs or scratches at these locations, your cat may be allergic to fleas. Another way I diagnose fleas is to rub the fur over the lumbar area, back and forth over a white or light surface, watching for black flecks falling off your cat. If you look closely, some of them may be curly. If you add water to them and wait, blood starts to streak from them. Regular dirt is not curly and doesn't have blood in it, but flea dirt does. Flea dirt is actually flea poop and dried blood. Another way you could do this is to moisten a paper towel and pat your cat in these locations or pat in areas where your cat spends a lot of time sleeping. If you notice rusty brown specks on the paper towel, you just diagnose fleas. A third way I diagnose fleas is to scratch a cat and their lumbar area and watch what happens with their head. If a cat starts to lick or chew the air or have weird head twitches, this is another characteristic your cat has fleas. So what about flea combs? I generally don't use them because these other techniques work and it's hard to catch a flea. Just because you don't catch a flea doesn't mean they're not there. Where did these fleas come from? Fleas are incredible jumpers. They don't fly as they don't have wings. They can catch a ride on your shoes or pant legs, especially if you're doing a lot of yard work or gardening. They can catch a ride on a rodent that finds its way into your household, especially if you have an unfinished basement. They can catch a ride on a pet in the household that goes outside from time to time, especially a dog. Or they can jump in through the door, especially if you live in an area where you have wildlife or cats that are coming up to your household, or you live in an apartment complex where dogs are going in and out of a common hallway. Quick flea fact, a flea is an amazing jumper and can jump up to 200 times its body size. That would be like us jumping over the Empire State Building in one leap. You've been treating fleas and nothing seems to be working. Here are 10 possible reasons why that may be the case. Number one, Fleas are nearly impossible to see. By the time you see a flea or you see evidence on your cat that may suggest fleas are in the household, the flea life cycle is in full swing and you are already way behind in getting rid of them. Number two, the flea treatment is not long enough. You have to treat for a minimum of six months, period. The pupa or cocoon stage can survive for up to five months before hatching. In a laboratory setting, it can survive for over a year, which probably won't happen in the real world. So if you are not treating per the directions on your flea treatment for a minimum of six months, the flea cycle will continue. If you miss a dose or are late with a dose, you have to treat for six months from when you start back up again. If you've applied one or two treatments and aren't seeing fleas, you still have to treat for a total of six months because you have to kill the fleas that have not hatched from their eggs yet. Number three, the flea treatment you're using is not that great. We've made great advances in flea treatments that are very effective with minimal side effects. They've replaced all the products we used to treat fleas in the past. Your vet will have the most effective, safest options for you. 
Yes, they're going to be more expensive, but the savings comes from using an effective product at the first sign of fleas instead of trying to manage it at home. Generally speaking, over-the-counter products are a waste of time and money. Prescription products that have moved into the over-the-counter space now have resistance to fleas. Home remedies and home treatments just don't work. More on that in a little bit. Number four, the flea treatment is not being used as directed. Make sure you are following the directions on your flea treatment. Some topical applications are applied monthly. Some topical applications are applied every three months. Remember, a flea is not forgiving, and if you miss a treatment or are late, that flea cycle ramps up very quickly. Number five, the treatment hasn't had enough time to work. I get this complaint very often. I put a flea treatment on my cat, I saw a flea on it the other day, so that means the treatment isn't working. Fleas need to jump on your cat before they die, so just seeing a flea on your cat doesn't mean the flea treatment is not working. Remember, for every one flea you see on your cat, there's possibly up to 100 fleas in the household that you don't see. And each of those fleas has to jump on your cat before they die. This says nothing about the 95% of the flea cycle you are not seeing. Those eggs still need to hatch, produce a flea, which has to jump on your cat to die. It can be weeks before you notice an improvement, and oftentimes it gets worse before it gets better. Number six, not every pet in the household is getting a treatment. Too often, we only treat the pets where we see a flea. If you have one animal in your household not receiving a flea treatment, the flea cycle continues. So make sure every cat and every dog is receiving a flea treatment for a minimum of six months. Number seven, flea treatments were stopped because it's cold outside. Yes, fleas are less of an issue in colder weather, but that egg, larva, pupa, and flea inside don't know it's cold outside and are perfectly happy continuing their flea cycle inside with the heat on. I see a huge uptick in fleas every January and February because people stopped flea treatments in the fall when the weather got colder and it took a few months for that flea cycle to ramp up where you're noticing fleas in the winter. If your cat was diagnosed with fleas in the fall, continue those treatments through the winter even if there's snow on the ground, otherwise you'll have fleas in a few months. Number eight, home treatments are not being done correctly. Vacuuming is a great way to suck up all the life stages of a flea. The heat and vibration from a vacuum can cause a pupa to hatch into a flea, which makes it more vulnerable to a flea treatment. However, if you're not taking that canister or bag outside immediately, fleas can escape and reinfest your household. Washing your cat's bedding is a good idea. Just make sure you're doing it often. Use hot water in the wash and high heat in the dryer to be most effective. Number nine, your cat had a bath. You cannot bathe your cat right before applying a flea treatment, and you cannot bathe your cat right after you apply a flea treatment. Now, every flea treatment will have their recommendations on when you can bathe your cat. To be 100% sure, do not bathe your cat two days before applying a flea treatment, and do not bathe your cat two days after applying a flea treatment. Number 10, you treated the house and not the pets. I generally don't recommend treating your house unless you have a very bad flea infestation. In most cases, treating the house only kills the adult fleas and does nothing for the eggs in your household. So if you're not also treating the pets in the household, those eggs will eventually hatch and start the whole flea life cycle over again. Quick flea fact. Fleas will hatch from a cocoon or pupa stage when they sense movement or a warm host like your cat nearby. Until then, they are just sitting and waiting for the right time to emerge and start the whole cycle over again. These products are not recommended for cats. Do not use pyrethrins or any long chemical name that begins with a P. This is old medicine and can have some very serious side effects. I'm talking seizures, coma, and death. Do not use flea treatments that are labeled for dogs. It is not about the weight of the pet. There are ingredients in dog flea treatments that can cause serious side effects in cats. Again, I'm talking about seizures, coma, and death. Do not use shampoos, sprays, or powders. Yes, they may kill some adult fleas that are on your cat. However, they do not break the flea life cycle. They do nothing for the adult fleas in your household, and they do nothing for the 95% of the flea cycle you do not see. There is one exception, which are gonna be my kittens under eight weeks of age, as there are no approved flea products to use on them. Oftentimes, we recommend bathing in Blue Dawn dish soap, which is fine to do, you just have to do it often, but just be careful, make sure you're rinsing the kitten thoroughly and watch your body temperature. Sometimes frequent baths can drop their body temperature and you may have an issue. Do not use home treatments or home remedies. Take a look at this chart. Some of these products only repel fleas. They do not kill them. Some do kill fleas, 
but the quantities or methods needed to kill them is impractical. Some do kill parts of the flea cycle. None of them stop the flea cycle completely, making all of them ineffective and therefore cannot be recommended. Most of these products carry a small risk while some are very toxic to cats, with death being reported in some cases. So why is this so important? It's more than just having your skin crawl at the idea that fleas are in your household. You can get some nasty diseases from fleas. Cat scratch fever is not just a song. It is a serious disease that you can get from fleas. You can also get the plague, typhus, and tapeworms. Your cat can get tapeworms, Bartonella, mycoplasma, can become anemic from fleas, or have an allergic reaction to them, all of which requires additional diagnostics and treatments. Honestly, if you are serious about treating fleas, or more importantly, preventing fleas, you have to treat year-round. We used to say only treat in the warmer months, but even in the Northeast with our winters, we are seeing fleas year-round. Avoid over-the-counter products or home remedies. Yes, they may help, but they are not gonna break the flea life cycle. I generally do not recommend treating the house, but if you do, make sure you are treating each and every pet in the household for a minimum of six months and give time for that flea treatment to work. Remember, every egg has to hatch into a flea and every flea has to jump onto your cat before they die. This just takes time and oftentimes it gets worse before it gets better. My best advice is to start treatment before you see a flea, especially if you've had fleas in the past. And now for my favorite part of this video, flea myths. These are explanations why a cat can't possibly have a flea even though I just diagnosed it. Flea myth number one. My cat can't have a flea because I am sensitive to fleas and if there was a flea in the household, I would know. Fleas do not like humans. They would much prefer feeding off a cat or dog. So if you are getting bit by fleas, that usually presents as small red bumps around your ankles, that means you have a really bad flea infestation. Fleas only bite us when they run out of cats and dogs to snack on. Number two, my cat is indoor only, so I don't have to give them a flea treatment. The vast majority of cats I diagnose with fleas are indoor only. That is because if a cat goes outside, they are already on a flea prevention. Fleas are notorious for finding their way inside a household, one of the most common ways an indoor-only cat gets fleas is that they coexist with a dog. A dog can bring a flea in even if they're on a flea treatment. So if your cat coexists with the dogs, it is recommended that they receive flea treatments year-round. Myth number three, my cat can't have fleas because I never see them scratching. Cats are liars and hide disease very well. Most owners notice hair thinning or scabs on their cat before they see their cat scratching. Your cat knows if you see them scratching, you're gonna take them to the vet. I always say, if you really wanna know what your cat is doing, set up a camera and videotape them when you're not around. Myth number four, I clean all the time. I can't possibly have a flea in my household. Life happens. Finding a flea in your household is not a reflection on how clean you are. Just because your household is pristine does not make you immune to an occasional flea finding their way inside and you simply cannot clean enough to prevent this. Myth number five, I treated my house so I don't have to treat my cats. Most house treatments only kill adult fleas. They do nothing for the eggs in your household. So if you don't treat your cats in addition to treating your house, those eggs that are sitting in your carpet will eventually hatch and you will have a flea problem in the next few months.